Hey guys, it's Yu Ta. So, typing in English on your phone is very straightforward. I have a phone, I have an apple. You press A and you get A. You press B and you get B. And if you keep typing, autocorrect will find a way to screw up. I personally like using a swiping keyboard to screw things up even further. But typing in Japanese is a little more complicated because we have so many letters. We have at least thousands of them, even if you only count the ones we normally use. So, how do you type in Japanese on your phone? First, let me explain a little bit about the Japanese writing system. We use three types of scripts hiragana, katakana, kanji, and emoji. Hiragana and katakana are phonetic. One letter generally represents only one sound. A, I, U, E, O. These letters are pretty easy to deal with. You can actually write Japanese entirely in hiragana or katakana. So the problem is kanji, which means han letter, as in han Chinese, because we borrowed them from China. Chinese people often have an easier time learning Japanese because they can recognize these letters, even though many of these letters have different meanings in Japanese and Chinese. You may be wondering why we use three types of scripts when it's possible to write everything in either hiragana or katakana. Well, this is the rather complex topic I have discussed on a number of occasions. But in short, it's because we can and they look cool in anime. So we use all of these scripts to write Japanese. I've already explained how to type in Japanese on your computer in another video, and you can certainly use that method on your phone as well. But there's a more popular method, which we call flick input. This is like an improved version of how you used to type on your Nokia phone. Do you remember how you had to press the same key several times to get one letter? Didn't you just love it when you missed one letter and had to do it all over again? Well, Flick input solves that problem. Each key is assigned with one hiragana. But instead of pressing the same key several times, you can just swipe left, right, up and down to enter any letter. Basically, you can enter any hiragana letter with just one tap or one swiping motion faster than the girl swiping left on the guy on Tinder. This way you can write everything in hiragana. But we're not done yet. If you write everything in hiragana, it kind of looks childish and it's also hard for us to read. For example, many words look identical when you write them in hiragana, even though they're different words and they look different in kanji. So you need to convert some of these words in hiragana into kanji. This sentence should look like this. And it's actually pretty easy. As you type in hiragana, you will see different suggestions in different letters, so you have to choose the right one. This is similar to when you type in English because you also see suggestions. But the difference is with English, it's just a way for you to type a little bit faster and create a bunch of autocorrect failure compilations. But with Japanese, you have to rely on this system because you can't input kanji directly. This is fine as long as you want to use common kanji, but as soon as you want to use something uncommon to impress your friends, you're in trouble because you might not be able to find the right kanji among your choices. This often happens with people's names because they tend to use uncommon kanji, just like my dad's name. Let me actually find my dad's kanji. Okay... Hiro. Okay... Lots of choices, and I can't find it. Now, if you're thinking this is too complicated and you just want to use Google Translate to translate English into shitty, less than perfect Japanese, don't do it, because if you want to learn Japanese with me, I will teach you the kind of Japanese the real life Japanese people today actually speak. So click the link in the description and subscribe. And if you get used to it, you can type pretty fast with this method. Let me demonstrate. Okay, uh, ho. Wait, so this is. No. Oh, yeah. Ka. Ku. I mean, I said you can type fast if you get used to it, which I'm not apparently. So, 
Let me show you how average Japanese people type. And if you want to know how I type in Japanese on my phone, the answer is I don't. Because I can type faster than them on my computer, and not because I'm always in my room in front of my computer and don't go out except for when I chase random rabbits. But when I really have to type on my phone, I just use a QWERTY keyboard or a voice typing feature. The voice typing feature is pretty useful. I think it's underutilized. So you have plenty of options when it comes to typing in Japanese on your phone. But if you want to type in Japanese, you need to learn Japanese first. And if you want to learn Japanese with me, I will teach you the kind of Japanese that real life Japanese people today actually speak, which can be different from the type of Japanese that textbooks and apps teach you because they can be unnatural and outdated. So click the link and subscribe to my email group, Japanese with Yuta. All right, see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao.